second. Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here in Denver at uh, the top of the world in the mountains. And I want to say it's been a long crypto winter, so I'm excited to say that hopefully we're entering a crypto summer. And with that, <laughs> we're going to get ready for a crypto summer coming ahead of us. So thank you for having us. Keep going, keep going. So I want to start with a really prescient quote. Uh, that was actually published by Benjamin Franklin over 250 years ago. And this was in the context of the rapture. And he said, our good or bad works shall remain forever recorded in the archives of eternity. And I can't think of a more, uh, a, a better event to talk about this than at Filecoin. And I wanna start my presentation with a click. So this is something that we're really excited about a bit of background quickly, I grew up in upstate New York in a town called Rochester, which was the birthplace of photography and digital photography and Kodak. And I grew up in essentially a photo lab. My uh, father had a scanning electron microscope in the living room. He was doing uh, x-ray developing in the basement. And him and my younger brother worked on a camera rig that will fly in the space shuttle, sorry, in the ISS later this year. So I've been immersed in photography but what I'm going to show you next is one of the most exciting things that I've ever seen. And it's an app called Click. And I'm gonna take a picture of you guys right now. So if you don't wanna be recorded in the archives of eternity, cover your face. Uh, but I'm gonna take, do a kind of a funny, uh, a funny motion. Yeah, put your hands up. There we go. Nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that picture right here and I'm gonna sign that image. So I'm gonna sign that photo with my uh, my key and then I'm going to upload that to a decentralized file storage to IPFS and then onto the blockchain and I'll show you guys uh, what this looks like in a second. So this is essentially what we're building. So it's a huge problem today because with generative AI we don't really know what's real anymore. I'm sure all of you have been seeing the images online. It's becoming really really difficult uh, to see what's real, what's fake, and even the AI models are having a huge problem even detecting these fake images. So we need a solution to help us understand what's real and fake because the problem is only going to get worse. This was something that happened on Reddit just a few uh, weeks ago and people with just a day of experience, 24 hours, playing with stable diffusion were able to create an imaginary person, create US government documents that said this person was real, and then generate a KYC image of this person holding that document. And we're only a few months away from being able to do this with live video. So it's getting really, really good. And we don't really know what the implications of this are for business, for finance. Uh, the world of industry and enterprise is just starting to realize that this is a big problem, and we don't know what to do. Uh, even the, uh, the World Economic Forum said misinformation is the biggest problem facing civilization today. And we believe we have a solution. So Nodal is a digital trust network for social good. We're a, a deep in network, a decentralized physical infrastructure network started in 2017 with the idea to use the smartphone, the most powerful computer that's in everybody's pocket today, to uh, share its Bluetooth connection to locate, connect, and to verify the Bluetooth devices that are around it. Historically, we started as an IoT network, but we believe that the power of this network is so much more valuable to verify other devices around it. And we believe that this network can be used as a way to verify uh, information and verify that you actually exist in the real world. We're also one of the fastest growing deep in networks today. Right now we're on Polkadot as a parachain, and uh, we have 100,000 daily active users, roughly half a million monthly active users, and these are people that have downloaded the Nodal app and are earning crypto just by participating in this network. And just very recently we've launched the Click app, and that's what I showed you. It's a Web3 application that allows anybody with a smartphone to take a verified image. 
to prove cryptographically that they were there and captured what was in front of them. And it's super simple. You simply take a picture, you click, you sign, that image is uploaded to a blockchain, and then you can publish that image onto a, uh, your social media of choice and share it with your friends. In a world where we don't know what's real or fake, empowering anybody with a smartphone to take certified and verified images is really important and we believe can be really powerful for democracy and for helping us get through the next few turbulent decades. Now what's powering this technology is something called C2PA. This is a standard created by Adobe and the Linux Foundation that basically assigns an image cryptographically and they've created a standard for different file types. I don't care what other blockchains are saying about being attestation platforms, C2PA is the standard. It's being deployed by Canon and Leica and Nikon, all of the camera makers, along with media companies like the New York Times and Facebook. Probably the most interesting is OpenAI. OpenAI announced Sora, their video platform, just a few weeks ago, and they're using C2PA to sign and attest that these images are generated by their AI system. So C2PA is a very powerful provenance technology. And we've joined the, uh, the working groups to help work on this. But there's a problem. This technology is centralized. It relies on a centralized certificate authority. And it's really expensive if you want to use a certificate authority to deploy this onto billions of smartphones. We believe that fundamentally the world needs a decentralized digital trust network. And this is what we're building. So with that, I want to say, what's next? Where is this next in the evolution of what we're building? And we're really excited to announce that the Nodal Digital Trust Network is deploying as a roll-up on an Ethereum layer two. Yeah. Thank you. So historically, we're a Polkadot parachain. We're one of the most active. And our token is live. We're listed on more than half a dozen exchanges. And we're launching our layer two as a testnet using ZK Sync. So we're really excited about this push. And as of yesterday, the testnet is live and it's running. And we're really excited to have this uh, deployed. So I want to show you what this looks like. So this is my gallery of pictures that I've taken. And if we look here, we can see the picture that I just took. And it's really cool because here we can see the certificate. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look great. We can see the certificate. We can see that it was taken just a few minutes ago in Denver, Colorado, uh, at this precise location. We also have all of the, uh, the metadata here from the camera. So if you're really into photography, uh, you can see all the information here. And we believe we can do even more, like support RAW. Uh, but more for you guys, this is the transaction hash on the ZK Sync testnet. And so you can see that it finalized on our testnet. And this is the transaction that proves that this image was real and it cannot be altered. So this is pretty exciting. Uh, you know, I'm using this every day just to take pictures of my daily life. But uh, it's really more than just that. People all around the world are using this app already, even though we're still in beta, to capture their adventures around the world. So for example, in Yosemite, or even climbing to the top of a volcano in Guatemala. But it's more than just capturing kind of a fun moment or proving to your friends that you did something. Click is about empowering anybody with a smartphone, even who normally could not be heard, to be heard and share what's happening in front of them. Here's a photo taken in the square in Kiev showing bombed out vehicles. And even to the right, the implications of those events spreading out across the world with a protest in Italy. And again, these are captured by regular people with a smartphone, with a cryptographic attestation saying that they took this picture. It's most likely real and pushed onto a blockchain. And of course, we want to have a bit of fun too. Thinking 100 or 1,000 years in the future, what are some things that the people looking back might want to know about civilization, for example, cultural events in Spain, or even street art in El Salvador. So these are some things that are kind of fun. Now, this digital trust network 
is really an ecosystem for verifiable digital media. So things like videos and photos are supported, and documents, and even data. We're really interested in this idea of machine-to-machine -machine data, verifying what's happening, for example, with AI training sets, or even data sets that are coming out of AI models. Something that's really kind of cool is that even this presentation was hosted here onto our, uh, onto our network with a digital certificate. So the presentation that I'm giving you right now is hosted onto our network and signed cryptographically. So you can see I uploaded it this morning. Yeah. So it's about making this easy. We want anyone with a phone to be able to do these types of things. And because it's not a presentation without a tacky AI-generated image on a slide, we wanted to add this and talk about, uh, we're really excited to partner with Filecoin and uh, work with the Ethereum community to help push this technology and make this accessible to everybody. And uh, we love what Filecoin is doing, so thank you guys. So that's it. I encourage you guys to download Click. Uh, we'll have the uh, availability on the our test nets uh, very soon. So download uh, the app on iOS and Android and give it a try. Again, this is in beta, uh, but we want you to start taking pictures, start breaking things, give us your feedback, and see how you can use this in the real world. So thank you for having me. We really appreciate it.